Now, we've been closely watching as Slitterbond redesigns the ride. Andres Gutierrez shows us how it's all changed. Andres? Mark, the water park officials say that the new attraction is now functional, but a few operational tweaks is what crews are still working on. This is what the Veruk looks like today. White netting wraps around the upper portion of the 17-story water slide. It's part of the many fixes made to the extreme ride, which have delayed the debut twice. Veruk, which means insane in German, was scheduled to open on May 23rd, but adjustments were needed, moving opening day to June 5th. In the days and weeks that followed, workers partially disassembled the water slide, including the lower hit, which was rebuilt at a shallower angle. Guinness World's Records deemed it the world's tallest water slide back in April, but until June 29th, it will be a ride without any riders. And the June 29th debut will coincide with the premiere of a special behind the scenes of uh, viewing of the building of the water slide on the Tran uh, Travel Channel. Back to you, Jadion.